downtown right now. Mm. Truly is the place to be. I, Huntsville has a beautiful downtown area too, yeah. so you just you can't know, beat it. I've been here for a few years now. I mean, it has really grown in a matter yeah. of just a few years, mm -hmm. Carson. So a good day to head outside? Yeah, not too bad. Maybe one or two showers this morning, guys, but that's about it. Show you what's happening on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. The one shower I've been watching throughout the morning is over Lincoln County, Tennessee right now. And if you look closely, there's just not much with it. Maybe a quick bit of rainfall if you're in eastern Lincoln County. This is eventually moving into the northeastern tip of Madison County, so closer to Newmarket, and eventually Jackson County as well. But that's really the extent of our rain chances today. Otherwise, we are just seeing mostly cloudy skies on this Friday morning. The view of the Space and Rocket Center right now, see some of that cloud cover out there. It looks like 565 is moving just fine. Of course, if that changes, we'll let you know. It is 59 degrees here in Huntsville. And speaking of Huntsville, the second round of the Huntsville Championship getting underway here in just a few minutes, actually. We should be able to get that second round in, no problem. Small chance for an isolated shower this morning. Otherwise, a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. Forecast highs in the low 80s. Another great day to be out on the golf course. And if you have any Friday night plans, maybe Panoply at Big Spring Park. Trash Pandas, of course, playing tonight as well. Should be just fine. Very mild, actually. 75 degrees still at 7 o'clock this evening. And then we'll be in the upper 60s as we get closer to 11 o'clock tonight. Maybe you have to get some chores out doors done. No problems today and really for most of the daytime hours on Saturday, I think you'll be in good shape. We might have a few showers around, not a washout by any means. By Sunday though, that's a different story. The highest rain chances on Sunday will be in the first half of the day, so during the morning and the early afternoon. And then by Monday, we transition to more of a summertime weather pattern that's really unsettled. There's enough humidity around, almost feeling muggy next week for that daily chance for pop-up storms each afternoon through the entirety of next week. So here's future radar, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Again, a mix of sun and clouds. We are completely dry. We'll stay dry later on tonight. And going through the day on Saturday, like we talked about, most of us will stay dry. There could be enough moisture around for a few showers, especially in our southern counties, but it's only just a 20% chance at this point. Then overnight, Saturday night, Know the time here. This day is source suggesting around 3 a.m. Sunday morning. A weakening line of thunderstorms will eventually move into northwest Alabama and then move through the rest of the coverage area as we get closer to daybreak on Sunday, lingering over Sand Mountain by the mid morning hours on Sunday. We're not expecting severe weather, maybe some heavy rain, a good bit of lightning, yes, but the greater severe weather dynamics are off to our north and west Saturday night across Illinois, Indiana, and western Kentucky. Looking ahead to next week, like we talked about, daily chances for those pop-up showers and storms going through Monday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, and it looks like this unsettled weather pattern could potentially last all the way through next weekend. Fortunately, we're not expecting significant amounts of rainfall. I think around a half inch to one inch in general. But as you see on that seven day forecast, yeah, just make sure you have that umbrella handy, especially starting on Sunday and going through all of next week.